Welcome to the second part of uh, the Agape Law, the main engine for a healthy church grow and a healthy church. Today I will speak about the Agape Law that is the glue that keeps the church together. Because it's written John, 3 16 to 18 for his this is how god loved the world he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not be perished but have eternal life god sent his son unto the world not to judge the world but to save the world through him there is no judgment against anyone who believes in him and in 1 John 4, 8, but anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. So if you not have experienced the love of God, you have never known him. I see that also here in, in where we are out with the people in the tribes that they have never experienced the love of God because they don't know knew him. Well, that's so important to, um, to guide the people to knew them. And it's continued writing. God show how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is the real love, not that we love him. We love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us. And is his love is brought to full expression in us. It's nothing about how much we love him but about how much he loves us. Because when you understand how much he loves us, then you will love him with his love. God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on the day of judgment, but we can face him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in the world. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it's, a, it's for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have no fully experienced his perfect love. We love each other because he loved us first. So you see that we need really to flow in the love of God. And today I will also speak about a special things that you perhaps not have been thinking about. That the Trinity in the Father is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity in the Spirit is the spirit, the living water, the word of God, and the agape love. That's the trinity in the spirit we have with the Father and Jesus. That is the living water with the life with the Holy Spirit and the living agape love. The living word, the living spirit, and the living agape love. The trinity in the soul, yes, we have also a trinity in the soul. That's faith, hope, and love. And another, an anchor behind the curtain in the Holy of Holy in Heaven. We knew in our soul also that we are born again. We have an anchor behind the curtain in the heaven, by the, in, the holy, in the Holy of the Holy. We are really rooted in Christ. We has an anchor. An anchor is holding a big ship. It's a big vessel, a good anchor. And we have the best anchor in the universe. We have Jesus. 
And we need the New Testament fuel, the new wine, to be new wineskin. Many quote the Old Testament songs and blessings, and they are very limited. How can I say that God was limited in the Old Testament? Yes, they were very, very limited under the law. The law is so limited because under the law, you have so much punishment and you have some if you don't follow the blessings. And the, with big warning about condemnation and curseness, sickness, wars, rumors. If you didn't follow God in the law, in little everything, then the sickness will come upon you, war will come, and many, many bad things if you didn't follow the law. I can take you an example about people quoting in the Bible. Who can be against us when God is with us? Yes, it's tremendous. God is with us. It sounds great. But what's the real truth? Today, who can be against us when God is in us? When we are one with God? When we are walking perfectly? in him, in Jesus Christ, then he is no longer beside us, around us, he is inside us. It's much more stronger than this other Old Testament quoting. Why quote this Old Testament things that God is with us when God is inside us? We are the temple of the, old, the old, Most High. and Because we are the whole, temple of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit Spiritual and soul's trinity. As I was reading, I was telling you about before the two trinities that's living in us. And we are the living stone in the body of Christ. We are ruling with Christ, sitting with Christ in the heavenly father, right side on the throne. We are no longer that God is with us. We are sitting on the throne together with Jesus on God's right hands. The other one is just a small shadows of what should come, that all the patriarch, all King David, Solomon, everyone, they look forward to the time where we are living today about the living, living sacrifice and a living life with Jesus. We are the bride, therefore, we must quote the New Testament songs of the Holy Spirit that is full, wonderful promises without any limit. And the Old Testament psalms was full of, if you don't do that, that will happen. Today, we have to quote the psalms of the Holy Spirit as Jesus commanding us through Paul, rejoice in the Lord always. Don't be fair. Jesus saying 365 times when he was walking on earth. It's written in the Bible 365 times in the Bible. Don't fear. For every day in the whole year, we shall not fear because the love of Jesus, the agape love, take all kinds of fear away from us with no condemnation who is in Christ about blessings that are without any limits. We must remember there is no limit in the heavenly blessing into our life and our ministry for the Lord because it's also standing in, in, in the Bible and may you have the power to understand as all God's people should how wide, how long, how deep his love is. That's also the Trinity you see, the wide, the high, and the deeper. That's also a picture that's described the, how wide and big and, and deep the Lord is, and how wide and deep the, our spiritual life also is in Lord. And May you experience the spirit and the truth, love of Christ, 
thought it's too great to understand fully, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that's come from God. Yes, listen carefully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. And then it's also continued. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Everything is so much bigger that we even can think or we can even ask. Many times we limited God and how we ask him because we don't ask in the spirit. We ask out from our experience, our flesh, but you must ask out from the spirit. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. All glory belongs to Jesus. Jesus was and is the mediator of the agape love. Today, we are the mediator. We shall, when Jesus walked on earth, he was the connection between people and God for the agape love. And today, we are the link. We shall link the people to the heavenly agape love. And John 14, 18 I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. We are not under the spirit of slavery. We are not under the spirit of begging. Because we are not like orphans. I will come to you, said Jesus. He will dwell in us together with, with, uh, with the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we are no orphans. Orphans, that's people that have a, without fathers or mothers. We have the Heavenly Father. We are no longer orphans. We can sh shout hallelujah, Abba Father. And on this foundation, we must build our life, spiritual and daily work, our marriage and the church. I read one more time that on this foundation, we must build our life, spiritual and daily work. Even our daily work, we must build on God's promises and our marriage belongs to the Lord. Therefore, treat your wife and husband as the Lord treat you. And some days ago, I woke up with this word in my ears. My beloved church, stretch out your spiritual wings and soar like the eagle far outside the church buildings. Soar high on my power wind of my spirit. My agape love will burn more and more in your heart as you soar on the wind of the spirit. My agape love will anoint your eyes to see our lo lost family through my agape love. Bring our lost family back to the Father's house from the harvest fields. The spirit, the truth, and my agape love is your strength and your power. Prepare my way, Maranatha, I'm coming soon. I will read one more time what the Lord showed me. My below church, stretch out your spiritual wings and soar like the eagles far outside the church building. Soar high on my powerful wind, O oh my spirit. My agape love will burn more and more in your heart as you soar on the wind of the Spirit. My agape love will anoint your eyes to see our last lost family through my agape love. Bring our lost family back to the Father's house from the harvest field. The Spirit, the truth, and my agape love is your strength and your power. Prepare my way, Maranatha. I will coming soon. So quote the right spiritual fuel to in the agape love and that's the songs the revelation the the deep revelation you have in the world in the living word of god the the psalms of the spirit that honor jesus nothing about honoring all other things it's about to unity and his in his agape love 
that will bring us forward. And thank you so much. I will continue to teach about Agapa Law. More programs is coming, so just follow up. And thank you so much for listening. <laughs>